What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the most powerful builds in all of Fallout 76. We have the Bloodied Stealth Rifleman build. Starting off over the build, these are the base sets that make up our in-game Bloodied Stealth Rifleman build, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game Rifleman build. Starting off in strength, we have 5, and this one can have Traveling Pharmacy maxed out. Weights of all Kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We have Blocker at 2 stars. Take 30% less damage from your opponent's melee the attacks. Over in Perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the Rifleman cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have Tank Killer maxed out. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have Concentrated Fire maxed out. Vats targets limbs. Focus Fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in Endurance, we have 8, and this one can have Ironclad at 2 stars. Gain 20 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. We have Fireproof maxed out. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical maxed out. The greater the rats, the greater the strength. A max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated maxed out. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. We have Field Surgeon maxed out. Stim packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers maxed out. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. Over in Intelligence, we have 8, and this one can have Nerd Rage maxed out. Wobble 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Demolition Expert maxed out. Your explosives do plus 60% to damage. Over in agility, we have 15, and this one can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Cover Operative maxed out. Your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Escape Artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Gun Fu maxed out. Vat swaps targets on kill with a 10%, 20%, then 30% to damage to your next three targets. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a 10%, max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck, we have 15. 15, and this one can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gory red paste. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Vats Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Serendipity at 1 star. While both 30% health, gain a 15% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have Class Freak maxed out. The negative effects for mutations are reduced by 75%. We have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from Rads, and Radway will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy maxed out. Critical Hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. Over in the Legendary Perk cards, these are the Legendary Legendary perk cards to help make up our in-game rifleman build. Starting off, we have Intelligence maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out. Strength at 3 stars. Luck at 3 stars. Far-flung Fireworks at 2 stars. And Follow Through maxed out. These are the Legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor, weapons, mutations, and buffs. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear, which gives us a gain up to plus 3 to all stats except endurance when low health, and since we're a low health bloody build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my trusty backpack, what I'm using is the normal backpack with a high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over my unarmor, what I'm using is my secret service unarmor with the shielded lightning mod to get us a plus 4 to our strength, a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that make up our in-game rifleman build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Sky Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in our food buffs, these are the food buffs that we're using for our Rifleman build. We have Mute Fruit Juice, which gives us a plus 2 to Agility. We have Simple Fern Flower Tea, which gives us a plus 2 to Strength. We have Tato Juice, which gives us a plus 20 to our max AP. We have Blight Soup, which gives us a plus 100% to our critical damage. We have Carrot Soup, which gives us a plus 4 to our Perception. And we of course have Perfect Bubblegum, that way our Hunger and Thirst Mirrors do not decrease. For our Kim buffs, we have Overdrive to get a plus 25% to our critical damage. And we have Psychotats to get a plus 2.58 to our Perception, Damage Resistance Increase, and a plus 21% to our Damage. Over in the weapons, there are two different Rifleman weapons that we're using for this video. The first weapon on our list is probably the more powerful out of the two. We have the 3-star Legendary Gauss Rifle, with the main Legendary effect being the Anti-Armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has a plus 1 to Perception, and it also has the Vats Critical Hits do plus 50% to Damage. This weapon is absolutely insane for Rifleman builds. Over in the mods, what we're using is the Aligned Shielded Barrel, Forceful Stock, Prime capacitors, gauss reflex sights, suppressor, and the night terror paint. The next sniper on our list is my favorite weapon in all of Fallout 76. We have the fixer, with the main legendary effect being the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has your vast critical meter fills 15% faster, and it also has the bolts explode for area damage. Over in the mods, we have the prime receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, perforating magazine, reflex sight dots, suppressor, and the blood eagle paint. To begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful Rifleman build, we've made our way to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Alfred, and look at him, he's all mean and green and everything in between. We're gonna start by shooting him in the legs, though. There we go, outside of that, 612, holy crap. 
Now these face shots, this is where we're going to get the most amount of damage. Look at that. 1,885. One more, brethren. Look at that. 1,224. For the final shot, it's a VATS critical. We should get a ton of damage. 3,066. Poor, poor Alfred. Now we've made our way back to our glowing behemoth, but this time we have our fixer. And the cool thing about this weapon is it shoots way faster than the Gauss rifle. We're going to give him a couple shots outside of VATS real quick. There we go. There we go. I'm going to get really close. Get those face shots ready. All right. Excellent. Now we're just going to lay into him. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much faster this weapon shoots, and I still have 13 bullets left. Our next band of buffoons on the list to fill the wrath of our in-game riflemen is all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. There we go, and 943, there was a 612 in there also, and just, uh, blast off this dude's face. Oh, I'm missing. There we go, 1,252. Look at this, 95, 1,200, holy crap. Oh, super mutant. Here, do not kill yourself. I've got it. Do not worry about it. There we go. Fantastic. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let me just blow this guy's face off real quick. Now, my real target is that floater in there that just ran away. Look at that. 852 off a freaking rifleman weapon. 2,599. Can I not get a 3,000? I, I don't think I can out of these guys. But hey, it's still a ton of damage. Uh-oh, uh-oh. How'd you hit me, brother? How'd you know where I was, huh? There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Get away from me, you stupid floater. All right, now he's dead. Let me just make sure I'm all healed up real quick. Woo-wee. Don't want to get hit by those lasers or any explosive car or anything. Let me just get rid of that real quick. There we go. Stupid car. That thing always kills me. All right, brothers. Hey, hey, you over there. Could you withstand the power of the Gauss rifle? Look at that one shot. All right, we're going to get this last dude in the face. Um, In vats. Here we go. Here we go. One more shot. And he's dead. 1,391. Now we've made our way back to our West Tekian brethren, and it actually sounds like they're arguing with each other. And I'm gonna have to break that up, starting with killing this one. Look at that. 395, 647, 796, 458. Can I get another one? What about you back there, floater? Look at that. 169, 520 floor. Okay, 449. Look at that. 1,048. Now, another cool thing about the fixer is it also has a improved stealth bonus. I love me stealth builds, so that's what makes this the perfect weapon. Oh my god, they can always send the power of the fixer. Hello, sir. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hey, you. Hey, you down there. Could you withstand the power of the fixer? Let me just give you a couple shots. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come over here. Here we go. Right in the toes. A 239 to the toes. Oh god. Oh god. 368 to the toes. All right, we got our headshot and we got our VATS critical ready. Here we go, brethren. 834. Oh my god. You definitely get more power out of the Gauss rifle, but this one shoots way faster. I mean, look at that. Holy crap. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over my top five favorite sniper rifles in all of Fall 76. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my top five favorite sniper rifles.